music. It's a form of communication and at the same time it is a form of self-development. It is a way of getting more and more uh, a part of the society, the community to which they belong. So about five years ago, a priest friend of mine told me there was a little boy up in the mountains who could hear a song and play it on a guitar. Um, and that he was gifted and he was hoping I could see what could be done about his musical education. Ang among kasinatian tungod sa iyang papa nga nasakit, dili man mi makakaya. Inya karon, iabot man ang kuan kana nang sinunggo sa Ginoo, mao silian sala kana nang naghinay-hinay mi og adto. Hangtod nga ni klaro na lang siya nga magpatabang sa siya dito og kuan nga makatabang ni John Paul kay kana nang aron magpadayon kay maghikog man Saka man siya sa kahoy. Nga, kanan ang ugdili pa ko na si Ma'am Lian, nagpakamatay na siya. Kay ugdili siya, kanang atuan dito, mamatay is gani siya. Aw, ato lang sa siya sa inahulugan, magpalubong. Ato lang siya patabon. Kay aron ang kahoy, saksi, nga siya, interesado unta, nga mangita o giyang kaugmaon. Kay kami, dili naman makatag nun niya o kaning kaugmaon. So they brought him down to see me at the music school I was in and I interviewed him and he had said he wanted to learn the violin. I asked him also how he had learned about the violin and he said there were these missionary sisters, Franciscans, who had brought a group of children who were playing the violin to his school and that's how he learned about what the violin was. And so I got out the violin and I pointed out the different parts of the violin to him and I said, um, here, so this is rest position and this is playing position. So he started playing around a bit and talking to himself. He said, what was it they were playing again? He said in the dialect. And within a few minutes of playing with the violin, he could play the, a simple variation of Twinkle Twinkle that he had heard other children playing. So I knew then and there that he was a gifted one. Ang paboritong composer sa violin si, si Johan Sebastian Bach. Then, kaning kanahan ko sa iyang compose kay usa sa iyang mga compose, Minuit One. Usahay, magtukar ko diha, ug anhad, ug dili diha. O di masad kayo kumudisplay sa mga tao po. An, ug usahay, ug ganun niyang magabi eh, bar, baron. Anha ko, dap, anha ko tapad sa river, uh, magsigig, tukar. Murag makapainumdom sa siya na ako nga. Ganun niyang murag. Pardong gid siya nga kanini ang murag kanini murag pangan murag ako agi ning panangan do gid siya nga kanini makatukar ko aning mga pisa mga The children in our program come from a public school and an orphanage so from the orphanage they are either from uh, families that are dysfunctional or where one parent is gone already and for the public school they're pretty underprivileged and they don't have many opportunities to study um, music or other extracurricular activities. The musical Oliver, and two songs particularly in Oliver, uh, I think uh, capture the struggles of poor kids. Where is love? Remember that very, that hauntingly beautiful uh, song, uh, Where is love? Which reflects the horrible, terrible loneliness of kids without parents or poor children. Then the other song, 
food, glorious food, which to me captures the perennial hunger for food of uh, impoverished kids. I've always believed that instrumental music conveys messages that you know that are beyond their um, conscious understanding. Sometimes messages of encouragement and of unity and of a greater plan for us. So I think it's a great source of hope to people, um, to these children especially. Well, it can help in several uh, different ways. First, they can help by contributing financially to the program because we cannot do what we are doing without that resource. Second, they can become more aware of the existence of these gifted kids, but whose talents will just go to waste unless we help them. <laughs>